Yo que pensaba que Smith y Devan eran dos tíos. <ríe> Madre mía, estamos fatal, eh. McQueen. Ahora ya directamente se abren todas las puertas. Qué guay. ¿Hay alguien aquí? Sí. Pues voy a mirar. Yo miro. Da igual, lo miro ya. ¿Qué más da? No. Documentos. ¿Creéis que podéis retraicionaros y salirte con la tuya, verdad? Ni los sueños. Vamos a por ti, Ratchet, y te cogeremos. Mm. Te vamos a llevar a dar un paseo, Ratchet. Ya no falta mucho. Vamos a pillarte. Tenlo por seguro. Qué chulo. Pasaje de la Biblia, cártelo cuad, carta rota. Como una carta para que alguien que viniese de fuera Que es lo que ha, ha dado la sensación eh, Se lo cargara ¿eh? Bueno, vamos a hablar No, 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 no No te saltas, güey McQueen, ahora este hombre no tiene nada que hacer Say, this is mighty nice What can I do for you? My name is Antoinette Marceau I'm assisting Monsieur Poirot with his investigation You know the name, perhaps? It does seem familiar. Only I always thought it was a dressmaker. <laughs> Monsieur, for all our sakes, please do not repeat that in front of Monsieur Poirot. Do you promise me? Uh, I think I just about promised you anything. Oh, darn it, there I go, sounding like Mr. Ratchet. You had enough of him, I expect, at the market in this amble. I, I didn't mean anything by it except, well, except it's the truth. I love your accent. <laughs> a little bit of British, a little bit of French, a lot of heaven. Darn it, there I go again. <laughs> it is not a problem, monsieur, but we must be serious now, don't you agree? Serious, yes. Yes, of course. Ay, este muchacho le, le está tirando los trastos. You are Monsieur Ratchet's secretary? Era. Yes, for just over a year now. I met him in Persia. I'd come over from New York to look into an oil concession. I don't suppose you want to hear all about that. Getting oil out of Persia can get pretty difficult these days. Anyway, my friends and I had been let in rather badly over it. Mr. Ratchet was in the same hotel. He just had a row with his secretary, so he offered me the job. He was collecting antiquities, but not knowing any languages, was having kind of a hard time of it. I was pretty down and out, so I jumped at it. What can you tell me about Monsieur Ratchet? The actual truth is, Miss Marceau, it is Miss, isn't it? Wait, wait, don't have to answer. None of my business. <laughs> the truth is, I don't know anything about him. He never spoke of himself or his life in America. May I have your passport, please? Sure. Here you go. What is your full name, age, and address? Hector Willard McQueen. I'm 28. You're about what? 24, <laughs> 25? <laughs> your address, Monsieur McQueen? That's right, Hector. Always saying the wrong thing. That's me. I live at 58 Warren Street, New York. Bueno, 28 años ya no es un joven suelo, ¿eh? You must have formed some theory about him, Monsieur McQueen. Well, yes, I did. For one thing, I don't believe Ratchet was his real name. I think he left America in order to escape from someone or something. I think he was successful until a couple of weeks ago. Oh, what happened then? He began to get letters, threatening letters. Did you see these threatening letters? Yes, it was part of my job to attend to his correspondence. Do you still have the letters? I've still got a couple in my files. Ya les he cogido, yo voy por adelantado. How did Monsieur Ratchet act when he received the first letter? It's difficult to say. He passed it off with a laugh in that quiet way of his. But somehow, I felt that there was a good deal going on underneath the quietness. Did you know that Monsieur Ratchet had asked Monsieur Poirot to help him? No, I had no idea. Did you like your employer? No, I did not. Why not? I can't exactly say. He was usually quite pleasant in his manner. I'll tell you the truth. Antoinette, so, sorry, Miss Marceau. I disliked and distrusted him. He was, I am sure, a cruel and dangerous man. Were you on good terms with your employer? 
This is where I'm supposed to go all goose fleshy and shifty eyed, right? Like some thriller? You got nothing on me! <laughs> and so on? Yeah, sorry, but Ratchet and I were on perfectly good terms. When did you last see Monsieur Ratchet live? Last evening, about. Uh, about 10 o'clock, I guess. Masterman fetched me. Mr. Ratchet wanted me to take down some memoranda for him. On what subject? Some pottery he'd bought, and a statue we were bringing back to Paris with us. It's in the baggage car. Monsieur McQueen, you are correct. Ratchet was an alias. I knew it! Who was he? He was Cassetti, the man behind several notorious kidnapping cases, including the famous affair of Little Daisy Armstrong. That damned skunk! If I'd known that, I'd have cut off my right hand before I'd write another letter for him. May he burn in hell! I didn't mean to upset you. I have reason to be upset. My father was the district attorney who handled the case. I saw Mrs. Armstrong more than once. She was a lovely woman, so gentle and heartbroken. If ever a man deserved what he got, Cassetti's the guy. I'm rejoicing. A man like that wasn't fit to live. You almost feel you could have murdered him yourself? I do. I... Seems I'm kind of incriminating myself here. <laughs> Se le ha ido la pinza, eh. Pero os dais cuenta de que casi todos tienen... Bueno, casi todos, o por lo menos hay unos cuantos pasajeros que tienen que ver algo con la familia Armstrong, aunque sea muy, muy, muy de lejos, pero conocen el caso, tienen alguna amistad o no sé qué, no sé cuánto, ¿eh? es curioso. ¿eh? Podría escribirme sus movimientos de la pasada noche. Can you describe your movements last night? Let's see. I fell into conversation with that Englishman, Colonel Arbuthnot. Then I went to take down some memoranda for letters Mr. Ratchet wanted written, like I told you. When I came out, the Colonel was down the hall waiting while the attendant made up his bed. He came along back to my room here, and we discussed world politics. The government of India, the Wall Street crisis. I don't, as a rule, cotton much to Britishers. They're a stiff-necked lot. But Arbuthnot is all right. Did you hear or see anyone in the corridor while you were talking? Let's see. Yes. The attendant passed along once from the direction of the restaurant car. I caught a glimpse of his uniform. Then I do remember some woman in a silk scarlet something or other. Again, just a glimpse. She was headed the other way, towards the restaurant car. Did you see her return? No. Now that you mention it, I don't think I did. But I suppose she must have. What time was it that the Colonel left you? Pretty late. Getting on for two o'clock, I'd say. You were together when the train stopped. Yeah, shook me up a bit. But the Colonel was as <coughs> cool as ice water. He's been in some tough scrapes, I'd guess. A near train wreck didn't even make him blink. Verdad es que va muy rápido, eh. Este tío va a la hora de hablar igual que el otro, que es americano. La americana también son. Uf. Me parece una ametralladora, macho. Y tienes que estar muy, muy despabilado para leer los subtítulos. What happened after Colonel Arbuthnot said good night? I called the attendant to make up my bed and then hit the sack. What sack did you hit, and why? <laughs> I went to bed. Slept till morning. <laughs> Do you smoke a pipe, Monsieur McQueen? Nope. Don't smoke at all, as a matter of fact. I know they say it's healthy, but Anda. I don't believe them. Ya sé que dicen que es bueno fumar, pero no, no me fío. Fíjate. <laughs> During the evening, did you leave the train at all? Only when Arbuthnot and I got out at Belgrade to stretch our legs. When we saw you. But it was bitterly cold. So we hopped back on again. Which door did you use? The one closest to here. Do you remember if the door you used was bolted? Yes. I seem to remember it was. At least there was a kind of bar that fitted across the handle. Did you replace the bar when you returned to the train? You know, I, I don't think I did. I remember now. I left it unbolted for you. Say, listen. Since you... Since we know that Ratchet was really that swine Cassetti, there's something you should know. Yes. One night, late, after he'd received those threatening letters, I heard him working at my typewriter. He never did that. He always dictated his letters to me. From then on, wherever we were, he insisted on access to the safe. Whatever that document was, it was important enough that he traveled with it wherever we went. If there wasn't a safe available, he had one installed. I know for a fact he had one installed in the security room in the baggage car. I saw uh -huh. it when we were loading his crate. Do you have the combination? If he didn't trust me to type it for him, you really think he'd give me the combination? Merci, Monsieur McQueen. 
Bueno, pues ya está. Madre mía, un montón de información, ¿eh? Uf. Anda. A good idea, but I've come up empty. I've already said nothing else to see. I won't find any. Vale, vale, vale. Él está aquí solo, me parece. En esta, en este compartimento. Nothing else. To... Aquí hay un baño. Sí, hay un baño. Nothing of interest here. This wash basin is. Vale. Vamos a ir por aquí. No, espérate. Me queda esto. I can't see. No hay nada de interés. Masterman y Foscarelli. El italiano y Masterman que no sé quién es. Ah, es americano también. Ah, amigo, Masterman es este, no es. Masterman es este. Foscarelli es el italiano y este es Masterman. Y luego después está el otro americano, que es el que lleva... Eh, ya lo diré. Este. Este es Harman. Harman, ¿veis? Que lleva el traje ese que lleva mucho... Mira, vendedor. Ahí está. Bueno, pues bueno, vamos a ver qué se cuenta este. Yes, Miss. Monsieur Masterman. Yes. My name is Antoinette Marceau. I'm assisting Monsieur Poirot in his inquiries. Yes, the attendant has explained that to me. The service is quite good, I must say. I prize good service highly, of course. My compliments. Thank you. I would like to ask you some questions. Yes, yes I expect you would. I shall help in any way I can. Es usted la yaduya de, de Monsieur Rachet. You are the valet of Monsieur Ratchet. Yes. Ahí está. No lo sabía. La ayuda de cámara, qué puntazo, tío. De los años 30 y todavía con ayuda de cámara. May I have your passport, please? Of course. Here you are. Your full name, age and address. Edward Henry Masterman, 51. 21 Friar Street, Clerkenwell. When did you last see Monsieur Ratchet? Must have been about 9.35 or 9.40 last night, miss. Can you tell me what happened when you saw Monsieur Ratchet? I went into Mr. Ratchet as usual, miss, and attended to his wants. What were your duties exactly? To fold or hang up his clothes, miss. Put his dental plate in water and see that he had everything he needed. Was his manner the same as usual? Well, miss, I think he was upset. In what way upset? Over a letter he'd been reading. He asked me if it was I who had put it in his compartment. Of course, I told him I hadn't done any such thing, but he swore at me and found fault with everything I did. Did your master ever take a sleeping draft? Always when traveling by train, miss. He said he couldn't sleep otherwise. Did he take it last night? I poured it into a glass and put it on the table for him. Though I didn't actually see him drink it. Was it unusual for him to swear at you? Oh no, miss. He lost his temper easily. It just depended what had happened to upset him. Do you know what drug he was in the habit of taking? I couldn't say I'm sure, miss. There's no name on the bottle. Just sleeping draft and to be taken at bedtime. When was his usual bedtime? When aboard the train? A midnight, miss, or later. With the avalanche last night, I fancy he wouldn't fall asleep until closer to one. Did you mix his usual dose of the sleeping draft? A half dose only, miss, at Mr. Ratchet's request. I can't say the reason. What happened next? I asked him if there was anything else he required. He asked me to send for Mr. McQueen. Then I left him. Was Monsieur Ratchet an early riser? It depended, miss, upon his mood. Sometimes he'd get up for breakfast. Sometimes he wouldn't get up till just on lunchtime. I would wait until the attendant came to collect me. Buy me Did you know that your master had enemies? Yes, miss. I had heard him discussing some disquieting letters with Mr. McQueen. 
Did you like your employer, Masterman? I should hardly like to say that, miss. He was a generous employer. But you didn't like him. Shall we put it that I don't care very much for Americans, miss? Do you know of any bad blood between your master and Monsieur McQueen? No, no, miss. Mr. McQueen was a very pleasant gentleman. For an American. How long have you been with Monsieur Ratchet? Uh, just over nine months, miss. Before that, I was with Sir Henry Tomlinson in Grosvenor Square. I was with him for several years before he left for East Africa. Have you ever been in America? No, miss. Do you remember the Armstrong kidnapping case? I... well, yes, I remember reading something about it. A little baby girl, wasn't it? Very shocking affair. But what has that... Your employer, Monsieur Ratchet, was the man behind the kidnapping. I'm at a loss for words, miss. I can hardly believe it. Are you a pipe smoker? No, miss. I only smoke cigarettes. Gaspers, miss. What did you do after leaving your master? I told Mr. McQueen, miss, that the master wanted him. Then I came along here to my compartment and read. I was in bed by 10.30. Who do you share this room with? A big Italian fellow. Does he speak English? A kind of English, miss. He's been in America. Chicago, I understand. He was in here playing cards with another American. A Mr. Hardman. The game broke up soon after I entered and Mr. Hardman left. No Do you and the place. Italian gentleman talk together much? No, much? no, miss. I prefer to read. At present, I'm quite enjoying Love's Captive by a Mrs. Arabella Richardson. At about 10.30, the Italian fellow wanted to go to bed, so the attendant came in and made the beds up. Did you go to bed then? I went to bed, but I didn't sleep, miss. I had a toothache. Mm. I am so sorry. Was your toothache painful? Most painful, miss. I applied some oil of cloves, which relieved the pain a little, but I still was not able to get to sleep. I turned the light on over my berth and continued to read, to take my mind off of it, as it were. You did not sleep at all? I finally dropped off about four this morning. Did the Italian gentleman sleep? Him? Oh, he snored. I confess I envied Mr. Ratchet his sleeping draft, miss. Did your companion leave the compartment at all during the night? No, miss. Did you leave the compartment at all? No, miss. <laughs> La contestación. No, no. Did you hear anything during the night? I don't think so, miss. The train being at a standstill made it all very quiet. Good day, monsieur. Bueno, pues ya está. Vamos a robarle. Como no. Regarde, mademoiselle. Este es el libro. Nothing else. Y voilà. <laughs> I've already. No sé I won't find. No sé por qué robamos tantas cosas. Libro La cautiva del amor. Una copia muy gastada de La cautiva del amor. Este libro tiene un sello. Dice Royal Military Library. Eh, Twickenham. Twickenham. No puede ser que a lo mejor haya que buscar huellas en el libro. Así que lo vamos a colocar aquí. Era aquí, ¿no? Sí, era aquí donde tenía... Donde había que buscar huellas era aquí, si me lo recuerdo. Sí, era aquí. Vale. Y aparte de eso... Esto lo dejamos aquí. Licencia de chofer. Es una licencia de chofer expedida por el estado de Nueva York en 1923. Parece auténtica. Hmm. Curioso. Pues nada, jóvenes, lo vamos a dejar aquí porque ya hemos terminado con todos en esta zona. Ahora faltaría meternos. The door is locked. A lo mejor hay alguien en la silla. Me falta esto. I can't see nothing to see. <ríe> Qué zapatos más horteras. Nothing to... Vale.
Vale, pues ya está. Me queda el restaurante y el restaurante pues ahora haremos con el italiano. Mira, tenemos a este otra vez aquí. Nos falta el italiano. Ya se han movido algunos. Nos faltan los condes. Uh -huh. Puede ser que aquí a lo mejor encontremos al... Porque si están estos aquí, a lo mejor es la hora de comer. No, no sé cómo está el tema. Lo que no sé yo es si hablar con todos y luego volver con Poerot o aprovechar ya que estábamos ahí y decírselo todo a Poerot. Bueno, de momento lo que, hace, lo que voy a hacer es guardar. Mucha información. Mucha, mucha información. Y cuando hay tanta información hay que parar. Cuando estás viendo de que ya te, te, te cansa leer, leer, leer tanto, hay que parar un poco y, y ya está. Tal vez a lo mejor desde un ratillo siga o si no ya lo dejo para, para mañana y ya está. Y bueno, pues nada, espero que os haya gustado. Hoy ha sido todo lectura, hoy ha sido todo mirar, coger muchos datos. Lo bueno es que los datos más importantes los recoge aquí. Aquí va cogiendo los datos más importantes. Criado de Rachel, altanero, cortés, pero snap, snap, es muy estirado. Y como eso, va cogiendo las cosas más importantes. Bueno, pues esperemos que esa sea suficiente como para sacar conclusiones. Ha sido un placer. Podéis comentar lo que deseáis. Darle también un like, por favor, y suscribiros si no lo habéis hecho. Y os emplazo al canal para muchas más series y también para directos. Recordad que son los jueves, viernes y domingo. Hasta más ver.